It's fighting time. Oh, what fun we have today. Akato figures from Moose Toys. Uh, these are growing in popularity and uh, they're flying off toy store shelves. Series 1 has been out since uh, about, I think, the summer of 2021, and it was a big Christmas hit, especially at my house uh, and my nephew's house. And just about a month ago, they came out with Series 2. That includes new figures, I think about 21, and four giant figures. Um, much of Series 1 were packed into mystery packs. They had 38 figures to collect. Um, you know, with names that are clever, uh, but uh, fun. You know, Slam Granderson, Tail Whip, Crack Up for the Clown, Big Stinky, I don't have to tell you what's in his diaper, Pride Heart, you know, he's a knight, uh, Mizuchi, uh, a Japanese fighter, Wild Tide, he's got a snorkel. So these guys are a lot of fun. Almost any figure from Series 1 could be inside these mystery packs. And now there's word that there's Series 3 coming out as well. Um, these figures are definitely popular. They're flying off store shelves. Um, let's take a look at why we think that this figure line has been so appealing. One big thing here is collectability. There's about 60 plus figures out right now with Series 1 and 2. Uh, all of them go for about $5 in the individual mystery packs. Um, there's also starter packs, versus packs, those are about $10, $15 a piece. Um, there's the ring that comes with it, uh, those, those are about $30. Um, and the Giants I think go about for $8.99. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with Series 3. This line really also gives a new twist on an old idea, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Um, these two things just smashed in, into each other, I think they were out in the 70s, um, and were a giant hit. Um, so this is kind of an arcade style version of that, you know, smaller guys, they can be um, split strike, you'll be hearing a lot of that if you are a parent, uh, and buy these toys. Um, and, you know, so they can take these hit points, split strikes, put them back together, and do battle two seconds later. They're fairly durable. Uh, I have seen some break, but for the most part, they take a licking and keep on ticking. Um, so, you know, it feels like you're kind of playing an arcade game, um, and the controllers are meant to look like that. The name Akedo is Japanese for arcade, so it's meant to feel like you're almost playing a video game, you're almost playing an old arcade game that you'd find, um, you know, at the mall back in the 80s or 70s. I think one of the biggest reasons, though, that this line is so successful is the cartoon nature of the characters. You know, I think the company allows the toys to be toys for kids, to appeal to kids, um, and the figures reflect that in the names and the look of them. You know, if they were just guys that looked like soldiers or, or warriors and, you know, kind of a lot of the Star Wars toys that look like that way right now, they don't look cartoonish, they just look like miniature men and women. That's not always that appealing to kids. Why would you want to buy someone that just looks like you, that's not fantastical, that not, it's, you know, a bit wild. Kids like that. Um, you know, names like the Toxinator, looks like a mix between the Hulk and the Terminator. You know, Strikeout, he has, he looks like Two-Face, but he's a baseball player. Miss Slither, Snake, um, you know, the list goes on. But these guys, they look fun. The game is fun, so that in its nature is going to appeal to kids. And I, I really wish that a lot of toy lines would, would go back to that. I think they would, you know, in the end, uh, be more successful instead of just trying to appeal to adult collectors or trying to do both at the same time and you know, kind of have their cake and eat it too. So you know, that's my little soapbox for the day. But uh, these are fun. There's Series 3 coming out, 
We'll see what happens. How long will it last? Will it be another three-year type line of a uh, typical toy? We'll see. You know, popularity might wane in another year, but we'll see. Right now, they're kind of on top of their game, and I like what Moose Toys has done um, with a lot of their stuff. One thing I, I will say I don't love about this series is the cartoon. I feel it's a, kind of on the edge of some of the language. Might appeal more towards the 12 or 13 year old people who are playing with this. Um, but the seven, eight, you know, eight year old, it might be, it's a little edgy. Um, so I wish they kind of um, thought a little bit more on that. But other than that, you'll be hearing, parents will be hearing a lot of ready fight split strike uh, in the near future. As always, please subscribe and check out other Toys We Remember videos in the link.